Hey guys, and this is the second video in the Advanced OmniFocus functionality series. So this one is going to show you some very cool features that are built into OmniFocus that most people do not know about. So the first one is this, it's the Show All and Focus button. Now by default I don't think this is actually activated, so you need to control click and go to Customize Toolbar, and then if you drag either this icon of focus or the default set into the toolbar, you can access to the focus and show all function. Now right now I have my OmniFocus set up to show, or rather to focus only on Asian efficiency, which is one of my three main areas. If I click on show all, it expands and you can see my business projects here, my Asian efficiency stuff, and then my personal items as well. Now the great thing about focus is it lets you see only the folder and projects that you've selected and are working on and it hides everything else. Now, why is this invaluable? Well, when you're creating perspectives for working throughout the day, you basically want to be able to ignore or completely block out everything that you don't need to work with at the moment. So that means that, say I'm working on an Asian efficiency piece, I don't want to see my personal tasks or my business tasks. So I click on focus and I will only see what I'm immediately working on. Now, another mode, for OmniFocus is review, which is this. Now this review mode at the moment is only set to Asian efficiency, but basically review is one of those things that uh, I never really did when I only used OmniFocus for the Mac, and it's something that's probably better done on the iPad, but if you don't have an iPad, you can do it on the Mac. You pick your project, and you can mark it as reviewed. Nothing fancy. It's just a way to go through all your projects at the end of the week or whatever the review cycle is and to work out if you need to add any actions or move any actions up or reprioritize things. So let's go back to here. Okay. All right. Now the next thing I want to talk about is keyboard shortcuts for OmniFocus. Some of these you may already know and some of these you probably do not. So the first one is obviously the return key, which lets you add a line item. Pretty straightforward. Now what's pretty cool is if you pick an item and you mark it as complete and you press Command K, it automatically removes all completed items, or rather it hides all completed items and moves them onto the completed list so they don't show up in your existing task list. Control Option Space is the quick add key, uh, which I sometimes use, but personally I don't really use that much. Um, more of the time, I'm more of a right click and then send to OmniFocus Inbox kind of guy. Something very cool is so if I add a test item and you press Control, Command, and right arrow, it actually changes the item hierarchy. So using that combination of control, command, and arrow keys, I can move items up, down, in, into as projects, and as smaller items within projects, like this. And of course, one of the most invaluable ones is control, command, and S, which is sync, which activates the syncing with the server. Now, as you saw here, OmniFocus actually has an ability to create nested items. So if I just create another nested item, and another, this is pretty invaluable because within your library, you already have projects, which are these, but you can also have folders and multiple hierarchy, multiple levels of folders. But then again, but then within particular projects, you can also have multiple actions. And this hierarchy here, these are known as action groups. So you could have multiple levels. Now, okay. the reason you want to have action groups rather than an entirely new project is because often you will have actions that have multiple steps, then you want to list out the multiple steps, but you don't want to create an entirely new project because that would probably mess up your folder hierarchy. Now, another feature that you see that I'm using here are flags. Now, the way I use flags are very specific. Tan, actually, was the one who told me this, which is Every day, every morning, I go through my next actions and I flag the items that I want to complete today. And I usually try to flag a maximum of six items per day. 
Now these are items that I will do today only. Anything that I'm not going to do today, I don't want to see show up on my today views for either business, Asian efficiency, or personal. Now the only caveat with this is that when you complete an item, you actually have to unflag it, otherwise it will continually show up in, in your today views. Now the last thing I want to talk about under this for this video is the toolbar. As you can see, my toolbar is very non-standard OmniFocus. So if you control click and press customize toolbar, I recommend using the small size so you can fit more, more pers perspectives into the toolbar. And I would also recommend populating it with the ones that you use the most. And always remember that perspectives can also be accessed from the perspectives menu.